build offer spread before explaining this concept now let me say something about the best five bids and offers now given in this slide is the best five bids and offers for a particular company this is taken from the order book of that particular company and anybody can view this order book and it is transparent it is called as open electronic consolidated limit order book o e c l o b now we are seeing only the best five bids and offers on the left side we have buy orders on the right side we have sell orders on the left side in the buy order section look at the first row the first row contains quantity 1000 and the price is 4 rupees the second row contains the quantity 1000 and the price is 3.9 3 rupees 90 pies so the price all these orders are arranged in the descending order of price so the highest bid bid means it is the buy price highest bid price is given at the top it is posted at the top the next lower price is given at the bottom i mean 4 rupees is the highest bid so it is placed at the top 3.9 is next 3.8 is next so it goes on like this similarly on the right side look at the first row it is 2000 quantity at 4 rupees 50 pies that means 2000 shares are on offer at 4 rupees 50 pies now the second row consists of an order of 1000 quantity and the price is 4.55 now here on the offer side the price is in ascending order so the lowest offer is placed at the top so 4.5 is the lowest offer on the left side it is the highest bid on the right side it is the lowest offer when this bid and offer price matches then the trade happens that means the order gets executed so only when the buyer and the seller meet at a common price the trade happens so this is all about the best five bids and offers window now when we come to this bid offer spread concept the highest bid is here is 4 rupees and the lowest offer is 4.5 now what is the difference between the two it is 0.5 that is 4.5 minus 4 is 0.5 or 50 pies this 50 pies is the bid offer spread so this bid offer spread gives you an indication of the liquidity in that stock if this bid offer spread is small in meaning if the best bid is 4 and best i mean the best offer is 4.1 then the bid offer spread is only 0.1 if the bid offer spread is very small it means that that particular company has high liquidity if the bid offer spread is huge meaning price is 4 the best bid is 4 and the best offer is 5 then the bid offer spread is 1 rupee the gap is very big it means that liquidity is very very low so lower the bid offer spread higher is the liquidity higher the bid offer spread lower is the liquidity so that is the concept here 